Hey people, I've uh, decided I'm going to do Jasper Active Excel lesson three point exercise two, three point two, uh, because there's been a huge calling from my fans like, hey, when does three point two come out? So the release date is today. As soon as I'm done recording this video, I know you're excited. So am I. Let's learn how to use the sum function. All right, so it begins with click the quarter one worksheet tab and select cell C19. So make sure you switch to the quarter one worksheet tab, C19 right here. And on the home tab in the editing group, you're going to find, find this fun little Greek symbol. It's called auto sum and click the auto sum button. Notice, as soon as you click that button right there, Excel says, oh, you want to do equal sum, and then it's looking at all the numbers right up above and saying the sum of C11 right here to C18. So C11 colon C18, that's the formula. So when I hit enter, there it is. It sums it up. Next, now we're going to copy that sum function to other cells. So click on cell C19 again. Notice there's your formula up in the formula bar. What you're going to do is you're going to copy it to D19 and E19. So you can click copy and then paste like that. And there you have it. Step number three. Now we're going to insert a, and copy a sum function. So select cell F11 I'm going to hit the escape key because notice I still have the dancing ants over here. So escape key, select cell F11. And now I'm going to type, type equals sum and then the parenthesis. Don't forget that. Notice it's in the directions right here. Don't forget it right here. Equal sum open parenthesis. Now, nothing is selected. It's just telling me right here in the hint I need to put some number, 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 so it knows how to do a sum. So I'm going to click on C11 and drag over to E11. And notice Excel automatically types that formula. Once you do that, press the Enter key. Now, click on F11 again, and I'm just going to use the fill down, the autofill, to sum down to F19. And there it is. Didn't have to do much math on that. Excel does the thinking for you. So that takes us to step number four in the directions. We're going to use a smart tag. So select cell F14. So right there. I had to click twice to make it my uh, active window. But F14 is selected. And type the formula equals C... 11, excuse me, not C11, um, C14, C14 plus C15, D14 plus E14. And notice I'm doing a sum function, but I'm doing it the long way. I'm typing everything out. So when I click enter, it says, oh, okay, well, you have your answer. 80 plus 80 plus 80 is, in fact, 240. But notice there's a little green triangle right there. That green triangle says there's a problem. So when I click on it, it shows me a little warning sign. And if I do the drop-down menu, it says copy formula from above, help on this error, ignore error, edit in formula bar or options. So I'm just going to ignore the error because I know it is the proper formula. Excel just recognizes that it's a different formula than the ones next to it. Step five says select cell C19. C19 and copy C19 to E19 in quarter two, three, and four worksheets. So copy. Go to quarter two and paste. 
and go to quarter three and paste and quarter four worksheet and paste. So now I've copied that into each. Now go back to quarter one, select cell F11 and copy and paste it. So copy and paste. Paste and paste. So I will autofill down and autofill over on each of the four quarters now to make sure that that data is completed. So I know I'm going kind of fast, but it's the same thing that we did on the first one. Now we're just using autofill to complete all those formulas. So at this point, I'm done with quarter one worksheet and all the formulas and calculations, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. So when you're done with all that, it says save and close the workbook. So I click the save button I'm going to close it and submit it and get it. Take that Jasper active another hundred percent.